Hello, hello, Fearless Family. How is everyone doing? Happy New Year. Today is New Year's around 3.30. So I'm here working. I thought I recorded this video previously, you guys, but I can't find the footage. So I'm actually um, re-recording it. If I've already done this video, maybe I titled it something different. But the title of the video is 10 Things You Need to Build Business Credit. Okay? So I'm trying to make this video about 10 minutes long, no more than that. If I go over, it'll be about 12 minutes. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a business license. We're not trying to build business credit for sole proprietors or, or, or you know, one-man bands. The goal is to set up an LLC and use taxation for a C-Corp, which means that you're growing and expanding your business. You want employees, right, or it's not a business. Okay, the next thing you want to do is after you get your business license, you want to go get you an EIN number, which is free. You can go over to irs.gov, go ahead and sign up. You should be able to get one the same day you apply, as long as you apply before the end of business day. If not, then the system will generate an EIN number and I believe mail it to you. So just try to do it within business hours, okay, you guys? So the next thing you need to do is get you a business phone number and list it on list 411 i will list um those websites or resources below the video in the description so if you don't have any money or you you are limited resources you're starting a business and you're trying to be as cost effective as possible what i would do as far as my business phone number is i would just do a google voice okay do a Google Voice, do a nice little uh, voicemail, just let people know that this this number is not monitored, it's strictly for customer service. If customer, so if, you're, if you're a customer checking on your order or something like that, just email support and we'll be happy to assist you. Just leave a voicemail or, you know, something like that because some banks and underwriters will try to reach out to your business and you want to have something that states your business name and uh, kind of allude to what you do right okay the next thing you need to do is have a business address so if you have a physical location like one of my businesses is a physical location so it's easy to apply for credit because i could just use this address they'll go over and google it they'll go over and check and they'll see okay this is the business it's legit but if you are in e-commerce or you're still running your business from like a home location then you need to have some type of business address which you can use a virtual address i will leave the link below to the company that i use they bill me about 10.99 something like that per month the only time that i start accumulating additional fees is if i leave the mail there for more than 30 days and if i'm not able to get to the mailbox within 30 days i will just have them open the mail scan it and shred it so i really really like this company it is very affordable okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to get you a website so even if you don't sell any products but maybe you have a service you know a lawn service you may be a photographer or something like that you, you definitely need to have a social media presence which most people do that's the first thing you set up we all like social media so you're gonna announce it to everybody and their grandparents that you have a business so we're not worried about social media that's a given but you do need some type of website and the website like i said if you're just a photographer and you want to showcase all of your you know your content and your skills you may want to give you know a backstory on who you are and what made you decide to do this great thing that you're selling then just do a one page blog um I think Wix or something like that allow you to do a, a website for free on their platform. It's quite a few. It's not hard to find. Just do a one-page website. Go over and get your domain from GoDaddy or whatever you know company you decide to use. Then next, you need to go and get your DUNS number. Now, keep in mind, it takes about 30 days to get a DUNS number. They're going to try to upsell you on every product that they have, but the goal is just to get a DUNS number because some of these companies or banks or whatever are still using DUNS, okay? And the reason why, just a quick note, why do you need a DUNS number? Because DUNS go in and vet your business. And if you have a DUNS number, it let the banks or lenders know 
Okay, that your the banks know and other lenders know that you're a legitimate company. Um, my phone cut off right then. So the next thing you need to do is you need to open a Prime account. Uh, Prime will be below the video as well. I will just maybe list all of these resources so you don't have to go and try to Google them. So they will be listed. May not be in the sequence that I mentioned them on the video, but they will be below the video. So you need to go over and get you a NAV Prime account. NAV is like a business, uh, it's like a credit karma for your business. That's the best way I can explain. So you will be able to go over there, log in, and actually see your business credit score. Now, the free account is, it, it gives you limited you know, access to your, your credit profile. But if you, you um, upgrade and pay, I think it's like $39 per month, not only will you be able to see all three credit bureaus on your business but business but you also will have a reporting trade line so they report their services as a trade line on your business credit if that makes sense and if it don't they will tell you that over there or just replay this video because i can always use the extra view huh. okay so the next thing you need to do is you need at least a 650 credit score okay you at, at least the 650. So if if I was in someone's shoes that had poor credit, right? Poor credit due to collections. You have a couple of cable bills, a couple of utility bills, or you got this credit card and you didn't pay it off. Whatever the situation is, you have some collections. I would not invest in reporting trade lines. I would use that extra cash to pay off my credit creditors or depending on how old the collection is try to dispute it and I sell dispute letters just go over and buy them it's eight of them they work for me I went from a low 600 to an 800 within two years using these same steps you guys so they're proven they will work if you follow the system it will work for you okay so let's work on the credit before you start purchasing trade lines like Uline and Quail, because these companies are kind of overpriced, but you're not using them because they're a discount. You're using them because they report as a trade line on your business credit. The last thing, of course, you're going to need a, a business bank account, okay? Um, and that's a given, you know, if, if you don't have a business bank account, you're not doing business. If you don't have any of these things that I just mentioned, you're really not doing a business, okay? So hopefully this will help some of the, I know this video is really not relevant to all of my subscribers because most of the Fearless family already have uh, businesses. They just subscribe for me, subscribe to me because I talk about, you know, cr different credit cards and everything else. But I have a whole big big list of credit cards that I have applied for over the last two years. Go back and look at them. I tell you how I qualify. Sometimes I can't answer the comments, answer the questions in the comments because you guys, I don't remember what it took to qualify for that credit card. So as soon as I, is usually as soon as I uh, open a credit account, I'll do a video and whatever I said in that video, that's what it took. Okay, so I just I just can't remember. I have I have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of personal and business credit. I'm going to leave it right there. So I don't remember all the requirements of just go watch the video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for visiting. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. I don't have a set time when I upload videos. I just try to upload them when I have time, but I have a lot of great content for uh, business credit and in different companies that I may suggest or companies that I'm using that I haven't did a video on. So just go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss any new content. Um, thank you to all my OGs. I guess I could say that now because we're in 2024 and you hung in there with me. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, stay fearless. Bye.